Hello, this is part of the series that I'm doing for Crafty You that shows the different boards that you can make with your pillar board kit. This particular video will be for the Do Small Things with Great Love Transfer. Now, Hello, this is part of the video series for the Crafty You kit that is that comes with the pillar board and your choice of a size A transfer. This particular one will show you how I'm going to do the do small things with great love transfer. Now the pillar boards, uh, they can be they can be either horizontal or vertical. There is a small hole in the pack of this folder and then small holes in the back of the board, depending on which way you want to orient this and say you want to go horizontal, you put it in the board horizontal and you push the peg through to affix it and make sure it stays. So when you are getting ready to do this transfer, make sure you have this at the bottom, the hole at the bottom. So. Let's get this transfer on here. The great thing about this kit is that any of Chocotour's size A transfers will fit on this board. And that is one of our great price point transfers. They are only $9.99 each. And our transfers, of course, are reusable once you wash them. So you can change this board and the board is washable too. The paint is washable. Everything is washable. It's wonderful. So I'm just making sure that the sticky side is affixed well here. Now the colors that I chose to use are Honeydew, which is a beautiful, very pale spring green color. Uh, that's the light pink is called cherry blossom and this kind of dark mauve is a is called current jam and I wanted something that would brighten up and make me think of spring so what we're gonna do for a honeydew I'm going to use our multi-tool and just affix the paste spread that on and I like the multi-tool for these smaller areas because it gives me a thin surface to work with so let me get that over here. And then I'm gonna squeegee that down. And then this is a little trick that I learned. I'm simply going to lift the transfer up, but not all the way, just to break the seal between that paste that's down and the paste that's on top of the transfer. Why do I do that? I do that because these are very small areas and if I leave this paste down to dry, it will come up and be crackly. And in some cases that's good. It kind of gives a distressed look and it's really neat. Otherwise, uh, you wanna do that little trick or you can pull it up, dry it completely and then clean your transfer and put it back down. So what I'm going to do here, I'm actually gonna use a multi-tool again. Oh no, I think I am gonna use the squeegee. I'm gonna use our regular squeegee and we are going to use this current jam color for the do and with here. And I wanna make sure that I am covering all the little transfer areas. I wanna make sure that all that mesh is covered because then I know that my paste is getting through. And then obviously I'll be using the, the cherry blossom for these other parts here, the great love and small things. And I am working rather fast because I do wanna make sure that that paste doesn't dry and crackle. All right, and I'm just kind of turning the board as I do this to make sure I can visually see all that I am putting down there. All right, let's squeegee that off. Oh, I missed a part of that E down there. I'm glad I did a double. It doesn't hurt to always do a double look, just to be sure. All right, excess goes back into the pot, and let's pull this up here. 
And there you go. Do small things with great love. A small transfer, a powerful saying, and very simple to create and a lot of fun too. So I would love to see your pictures. Please post what you create with this transfer. Thank you.